coworker of mine got a call to this humidifier and it was leaking. So you can see the water stains dripping down here. You can see the rust. Now, there's a gasket in between this lid and this tank. So the gasket is most likely compromised because what happens is it fills up with water. The heaters, they have um, solid state relays that pulse and heat up this water. It creates steam and the steam exits and humidifies the space through the duct system. Now, what we're gonna have to do is pull this right out, get to the gasket, replace it, put it back in and test. Now, you're gonna to wanna to drain this tank out because it's heavy, it's got water in it. And the easiest way to do this is it's got a manual drain on this actuator. So this was over here originally, so it's spring-loaded, so you just move it over and you clip it up into here and that should begin to drain the tank. You could do it with the power on and drain it, but I just have the power off. So that's a very easy step. And to take this out, pretty simple. All of the heater connections, our plugins disconnect. We have a plug-in here and then we, we've got one on the board up here that unplugs. So once these are all disconnected, loosen off the clamps and we pull this thing right out. So let's just make sure that we disconnect this union here. This is where it fills and drains right here. So we got to disconnect this and there's a retainer plate here, a couple of Phillips screws and we remove this and that's it. Once the electrical is disconnected and these two pieces down here, this tank kind of, it's awkward to pull out because of these couplings we got in here. These are, these are rated for steam, the rubber couplings here. It's just piping that's been cut. I'll show you. It's just piping that's been cut, rubber, rubber piping that's been cut. And then we use them as couplings after. So it's a bit awkward to pull out. You've got to pull it out on an angle and drop it down. I'll show you. Now there's still a little bit of water coming out of here because you can't drain basically past this point where the, the nipple comes out. But what we can do is just, what I tend to do is just take some paper towel, roll it up and stuff it in the hole and that should just prevent the water from spilling out as we're taking out the tank. So the facilities people here said that they use this stuff all the time to spray down on parts that have been rusted to clean them up a little bit and to protect it from rust in the future. So we're going to give it a spray with this stuff and try to clean up some of this rust while we got the tank out. So it's doing a half decent job cleaning up the rust and debris that was in here. So we're going to continue to clean for another few minutes and get this gasket back on. Now it's fairly easy to get into this tank. It's got a few of these latches. Basically we just bring them up, give them a spin counterclockwise, drop them down, and then once you do that you can take this lid off. No problem. So lo and behold, the corner that was problematic where the water was coming from, look, the gasket is totally broken right off. So what we're gonna do is replace this gasket we're going to dump this water and scale and just get rid of this minimal scale that's been collecting on the sides here. Get this thing back in. So, got the new gasket here and we're just going to fit it on. Hopefully it's the right one because you know sometimes you got to pick up parts and it's not exactly the right piece that you're looking for. But we're going to go ahead and apply this gasket. Okay, so the gasket is nicely fit. Now you can see that we do have some scale that has, we, we've cleaned the tank out, but we do have some scale that is collecting on the sides. That's not a, a massive concern to me right now because in the fall, 
these humidifiers on site here, they get a chemical cleaning. Basically, they bathe in a liquid scale dissolver for a day or so to get rid of all of, all of the scale, even collecting on the sides. Today, to get through the rest of the season, we just got to get this gasket changed, and that's what we've done. So that's it, guys. We're going to go in reverse, put everything back together the way it came apart, but we should have no more leaks now because this new gasket does not have that crack and is not deteriorated like the other one. Happy HVACing, guys.